Do you use Facebook ads to get leads and sales on your WordPress website or WordPress store? If so, you 100% have got to install what I am going to teach you to install right now. A quick and easy process that is going to make you future-proof with the huge changes coming with iOS 14. If you don't do this, you are going to see a gigantic drop in your numbers. And stick around to the end. I am going to show you exactly what the number one biggest impact is going to be from iOS 14 and how it's going to affect your ads. Okay, if you're new to the channel, first of all, hit that subscribe button. I would love to have you as part of the community. I got tips like this all the time and uh, hit that like button here so that more people can see this video. This is by far the most requested video that I have gotten since I started talking about iOS 14. And so as you know, iOS 14, or maybe you don't know, with iOS 14, uh, people are gonna start becoming ghosts as they start purchasing things in Facebook and becoming leads in Facebook. So you need to find other ways to get the data back. And the conversions API is the number one thing you need to do alongside verifying your domain in your business manager in Facebook uh, to actually get that information back. What it, what it does is every time uh, a certain conversion fires in Facebook, it sends that or fires on your website, on your WordPress website, rather, it sends that information back to Facebook. And then you can actually do a little bit better tracking. Um, this is a 100% necessary thing for every business owner using WordPress. So let's jump in. Um, this is the link you want to get to. So I'll put the link in the description. It's basically vis uh, it, it's basically the partner integrations page on your Pixel. Uh, it's pretty easy to get to, but I'll, we'll put a link in the description. Um, so once you get here, and let me make my face smaller, you're going to go to WordPress. So I already started it here, but you'll easily see something that says Start Setup. And you're going to want to go to Continue Setup. Okay, then you're going to select the Pixel. And here's where you have to check both of these boxes, Advanced Matching and measure more of your customer's journey by enabling the conversions API. That's what we were just talking about. Okay. And then you go to create token. So I just created this token here. Um, after you go to create token, there's going to be a little button. I went through this just before this video so that I could make sure that I was validating it out for you guys. Uh, but it's going to give you this little token here. You want to copy that to your clipboard. Go and copy it somewhere safe. Okay. So I'm going to go and copy it right over here to my notes so I don't lose it. And I'm gonna to go to continue. And uh, I have to download this plugin. Okay, so I'm gonna hit the download button and I'm going to save it. Don't unzip it immediately. That's how it works with plugins. Go to continue. And then as you see, it walks you directly through what you need to do. Go to your dashboard, go to plugins, go to add new. And then you're going to install that plugin, activate it, etc. So let's go back over there and we'll show you. Okay, so here I am in WordPress. I'm going to add the plugin. So I just find my plugins tab here. Go to add new. And if you just go to your general plugins page, you'll see it up here in the upper left. You'll see a place to add a new plugin. Okay, so here I am. I'm going to upload plugin. Here we are. Upload plugin. Great. None of this matters here. You want this. If you have a plugin in .zip format, you may install it by uploading here. We do. So now we're going to go to downloads. We're going to find it. Facebook Pixel for WordPress Pixel. Open. And then go to install now. Okay, so I've got the message that the, pug, the plugin is installed successfully. We're going to activate this plugin here. And WordPress is going to do its due diligence. Okay, so the plugin is activated. So we're back here, back in the Facebook backend where it's taking you through, tells you to activate the plugin. We just did that. And now we review settings. So you'll find it right there under settings is where you can find it. You'll also see when you install it that it will show, uh, show up right here. I mean, I know WordPress is, can be so confusing. Uh, but it says here the Facebook Pixel plugin now includes support for the conversions API. So we'll just go right there to configure the plugin. So we've got the Pixel ID there. Use advanced matching. Yes. Use conversions API. Yes. Access token. 
Yes, we had that there before, right? We copied and pasted that. Now go to save changes. Okay, now we're gonna go back here and uh, now that we've saved our changes here on this other tab here, right? We've saved our changes. We've made sure that everything is in there the way that it should be. And now we're going to go back and continue where we can verify the connection and it says active. So we are good to go, good to go. Um, now what you can do is uh, just to make sure that it's working correctly is, you know, you can go and uh, you can go send more test traffic to the website. Um, I can do that now. Just send some more test data. Looks like we're good to go. Go to continue. And then we can go ahead and go through this testing process to test, to verify your events in events manager. You do not have to do this. Everything is set up at this point. Uh, but if you wanted to go ahead and test your events, you could go in to here and go to test events. And then you can actually um, create, uh, you can create browser events here to test and just follow the steps that they have here. Uh, but you're installed it, you're good. Now I said that I would show you, uh, I would tell you the biggest problem and by far, the biggest problem that we are going to see with iOS 14 is going to be retargeting. We're actually hearing that some of the direct stuff, uh, the purchase information, now, now we're only gonna get one pixel event per person. So that means that if someone adds something to their cart and then purchases, we're not gonna get the add to cart event, we're only gonna get the purchase event, right? Not to get too nerdy and in the weeds, but you should know this stuff. Uh, we used to get all that information. We're only going to get one, and it might could be delayed up to three days with these new changes. The conversions API that we just installed will help, but when it comes to retargeting, that's harder. If you are used to using your store to retarget people that come to your website, that's going to be really tough now. Website custom audiences are going to be severely, severely impacted. Because if somebody goes on their iOS device, they pick up their phone, they go to your website, no, you're not gonna be able to track them. It's not there. They're not going to get hit with that page view pixel. And so website custom audiences are gonna be much, much smaller. So you can still create them, but they'll be really small and they will not be a perfect picture of all the people that are going to your website, which is not fun at all. So what you're going to have to do is find ways to extend your retargeting by finding ways in the in-app piece of it um, to retarget. Uh, potentially, you're going to have to test retargeting video views, retargeting uh, engagement, retargeting people that have clicked the CTA button on any of your uh, ads or posts, which by the way, you can do. It's in the Facebook page settings when you go to create custom audience, Facebook page, click CTA. Clicked any CTA, I believe it's called. Uh, so that can help you as well, which will help you retarget all of your own ad traffic. Um, but you're in a tough position when you're trying to retarget somebody from YouTube ads, for example, or retarget someone from TikTok or whatever, you're gonna be in a tough position. So you need to be collecting email addresses. And I'm gonna do go over that in another video. Thank you so much for being here and I'll see you in the next video.